Hello and welcome to this little video. I will show you how I prepare the food for this little doggo. So first I wait until the meat is not frozen. And here you can see my notes in German for Cachetes, that's my dog's name. And he weighs 11.5 kilos, so he needs 287.5 grams per day. First is muscle, intestines, then um, vegetables and fruits. So for seven days, this amount is what I need and what I will prepare. So of course, the first step is to peel the veggies. And he really, really loves carrots. So carrots are always a very good choice for him. Of course, I need a little treat while preparing. So I decided to go for some coffee from Juan Valdez, which is a Colombian coffee brand. And every time I'm there or friends are there, I always get some coffee or sometimes you find it also in shops here in Germany. So of course I had to make, make myself a little flat white here. Very important for you might be that red bell pepper shouldn't be given to doggos that frequently. So at that point in time, I didn't know about it, but I would not add it to the dog's food anymore. And maybe as a little treat here and there, but definitely please don't give it to your dog so frequently as I read about it and it isn't so good for them. But my dog stayed healthy, so all is good. I regularly check him at the vet and I even check his blood values. So all in the green area, I uh, just want to point it out for you to know. So now I cut everything into small pieces and then we can enjoy a little bit the view outside. And now here I have the meat, the veggies and the fruits. And I decided to cut mango Mango is always Cachetta's favorite food, also strawberries, but I think he really loves mango and so do I. So of course, here and there I had to steal a little piece of mango as well. So additionally to the fresh meat and veggies and fruit, I add some specific oils and powders to the dog food, which contain certain minerals and vitamins. So that's usually recommended to have that as additional nutrients in the food. So that's what I usually always do and I mix it into the meat so that the whole amount of what he should get in one week is distributed through the meat and that makes sure that he receives sufficient vitamins and all that good stuff during the week. So after making sure I have the correct measures, we see here the outcome, the meat, the fruits and the veggies. And then I decided to open up a Greek yogurt for this little guy. I always 
let him clean the lid of it. So here we go. And then I mix some fruits with Greek yogurt here for the dog eyes. And here you can see how I fill up the little containers for his food. And every container is for one day, so half in the morning and the other half in the evening. And now I pack everything into the freezer and we are ready for seven days of dog food. <laughs> 